have so much good entertainment, it's understandable that people want to talk about it even more. What else is there in the world created by the movie? What are the details that didn't make it in? Why am I moving my hands? So here are five movie theories. On number 5, Stan Lee is Watu. In the Marvel Universe, there was a race dedicated to collecting knowledge. Kinda like Brainiac, but without blowing up the world afterwards. So the theory goes that Watu, being one of this race, is disguising himself as Stan Lee to put himself in different situations where he can record data. He was never shown to have to do this before, but I don't know, maybe he's looking for the Tesseract or something. On number 4, Grease is Sandy's Fantasy. For those unfamiliar, Grease was a movie set on the 50s. Sandy is a straight-laced kind of girl, she falls in love with John Travolta's character, but he's too cool to notice her. So in the end, she becomes cool and they fly away in a car. There's a line in a song in the beginning that says that Sandy almost drowned. So the theory goes that Sandy is actually drowning and her brain is fantasizing with the whole situation. Maybe John Travolta's character is the guy who took her out of the water? She got a glimpse and then started to fantasize with it before dying? Or maybe he's her ideal boyfriend and it's all in her head. On number 3, the Mad Max movies are in his head. This one I saw in Nostalgia Critics review of Mad Max. The first Mad Max movie happens in a future where the system is crumbling. Max is a cop trying to keep the system going. And the theory says that when he loses his family, he starts to go crazy. That would be why from a cop he became a wanderer, so many elements repeat movie after movie, and there's even an actor that plays two different roles in different movies. Maybe a doctor in the hospital he's in? On number two, Willy Wonka is a killer. Or at least a sadist. Why would Willy Wonka invite five kids and not have a filtering process to decide who is going to get the factory? In fact, for such a recluse, why would he have a forest of candy? The forest of candy would be a trap, designed to give the kids a lot of candy, but still test if they would stop when he says they should stop, and filter out the greed. The whole idea is that all of those things that happen are not accidents. They are filters to decide who will be the successor, because Willy Wonka is not going to continue forever. Somebody gotta keep up the candy forest and the beverages that make you burp and fart. Uh, around here, I would probably put an honorable mention, but since I might do a second list with these, let's go right to number one, Darth Jar Jar. Now, different from the other ones that are just floating around on the internet, this one has an actual author associated to it. Reddit user Lumpawaru, link on the description. I'm not going to go over all of the details because you can go read all of it, but here's the gist. First of all, Jar Jar can do some very impressive physical stuff that he probably couldn't do if he wasn't a Jedi or a Seth like jumping straight up and doing an Olympic somersault into the water. Secondly, there's a lot of times when he contributes to the plot by luck, but at those times he's actually moving a very particular way, which looks like what's known as drunken fist, a martial art called Zui Kwan. And in plenty of times when people are convinced of doing things he wants them to do, he's actually gesticulating. Maybe he's doing a mind trick. You will share this video. There's even a particular scene that Super Carling Brothers showed when they were talking about this particular theory, where he's moving his mouth when he's not supposed to be talking at all, as if he was forcing the other character to say what he wanted to. On top of that, a lot of people say that the prequels were supposed to mirror the original three movies. So we have Anakin being something like Luke, Qui-Gon being something like Obi-Wan, but who would be Darth Vader? Who would have a big review in the second movie? Darth Jar Jar. Lumpa Uru even says that maybe Disney is reviving this idea, and the secret leader that we don't know of the new movies is Jar Jar. So what do you think? Would this be a great review, or it would be dumb just because it's Jar Jar? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like and share, please. Help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. At least the secret leader wouldn't be a new walk.